what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. All right, we are back with the nationally syndicated entertainment critic and American sweetheart. It's Ryan J. You I, always crack me up. What? You always. Uh, what were you going to say? What do you mean? Yeah, you ruined it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna say something, and then I interrupted you. I feel like you were gonna say something funny. Maybe, but I feel like the time has passed. It has. It's all about it's timing. It's all about timing. Yes. He knows that. That's uh -huh. why I'm not funny. No. Okay, is American Murderer funny? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> American Murderer is the true story of one of FBI's most wanted. It's uh, Jason Derrick Brown, who is portrayed by Tom Pelfrey, who we love from Ozark. And actually, oh. I spoke to him and the cast not too long ago. Um, oh. Uh, it was uh, just a couple days after it was just announced on Instagram that he and his girlfriend, Kaylee Cuoco, were expecting. Take a look. Oh. Congrats, Daddy. <laughs> Thanks, right? <laughs> I love following you on social. I'm a big fan. And since you're playing a real life person in this film, but you didn't have access to him, how did you research this role? Well, Matthew, who wrote and directed the film, has been obsessed with this story for years and years and years. So he literally had like a huge online file that he sent pictures, interview clips, all the all the news coverage where they'd done stories on Jason. So. I kind of had all of the, I got to cheat this time. I got like the stack of research handed to me at the start, which doesn't always happen. Just not the Jason I know. He's a con man, Melanie. And I don't know if you noticed the room that I'm in, but I'm a big Wicked fan. What was the highlight of working with Adina Menzel? I think she's wonderful. I'm a huge fan of hers. And, uh, you know, it's uh, that's one of the great things about my job is getting to work with people that are that talented and getting to exchange uh, stories. And then we also got down to business when it was time because on an independent film, you don't have a ton of time. You really have to come prepared and ready to deliver. And uh, I feel like we both were. God bless her. She sent a little video to my niece saying hi from Elsa. And my niece is too little to fully understand. She said, Uncle Tommy, that's not Elsa. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's perfect. Matthew, uh, in your director's statement, you were talking about how you want to develop compassion for a rotten guy. I actually found myself rooting for him. Now, is that just because you're a brilliant writer-director, or am I crazy? <laughs> I'm a brilliant writer-director, of course. No, no, no. Um, you know, look, the, the reality is that's why I, I set out to make the film. Part of that attraction and repulsion is what makes for me interesting film, interesting art in general. So, you know, I'm very interested in contradiction. I'm interested in gray area, um, you know, exploring that. And I think that, you know, that ultimately is what I think will, might draw people to come watch this. Mm. So cool. I can, all the famous people you interview, they respond to you so well. You're yeah. a fantastic interviewer. I think they can tell how much I love them. <laughs> I mean, you know, Fair. some people are like cool, like yeah. around celebrities. I'm certainly not. It's part of what drove me to get into this business. So. Yeah, I love cool. it. I've seen you. I, we've been together yeah. when we both have sort of geeked star out. Starstruck, starstruck. Yeah, yeah, we've done yeah. it together. It's funny. Okay, so overall, how are the performances? What did you really think of this? Really good. I mean, I love him. He's fantastic yeah. in this. Uh, Ryan's great, too. And it's so cool to see Adina do a drama. If you like true crime, stream it. It is playing in select theaters uh, around the country, but here it's, it's available on demand. So I'd okay. say stream it. I want to watch that okay. one. I wasn't familiar with that story. So. Yeah, you'd like it. What about Run, Sweetheart, Run? This is rated R. This is on Prime Video, right? And this is a drama that genre hops to thriller, then to fantasy horror. It's a little bit all over the place. It's about an office assistant who's sent by her boss to go take over a business dinner that he couldn't attend. Turns okay. into kind of a funky date and then becomes really violent and oh. crazy and wrong. Okay. Well, you say wrong. Does that mean there's problems with it or is that just part of the story? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of problems. And that's the strange thing about it is it's, it's kind of plays realistic and unfolds in a realistic way. We're like, wow, we could see someone go through this. The messaging is about how men prey on women. Oh, and wow. uh, but there's a much better movie about that this year called Men that was very artistic and cool that has the same theme. This is more like a B movie, a little bit amateur, but there's some really awkward moments that um, are like you would never say, you'd never do. You know how those things happen in a movie? And it yeah. also has some almost wannabe Quentin Tarantino moments in it. Um, is so it looks is it used on its genre. <laughs> it, are you saying to skip it? No, it's actually a stream it because even though it okay. turns like slasher and it's suspenseful at some point, like it's awkwardly bad enough to just keep you watching. And you know, sometimes oh, I think yeah. movies are bad and I'll just be like, don't even waste your time. This one was so bad that I still was like into it and I watched the whole thing and I wouldn't have turned it off. So I'd say, you know, check it out. That was okay. like the platform, remember that show? Yes, okay, oh, um, totally. <laughs>
Wendell and Wild, PG-13, Netflix. This is the latest uh, stop-motion animated film from Henry Selleck, who previously did The Nightmare Before Christmas and okay. Coraline. Oh, yeah. What's interesting about this one is it's PG-13. He's never done huh. like one of these sort of family films that way, like this before. And it, the, thematically, it's a little bit more mature, but I don't know that it really warrants that rating. It is a little bit darker. It's about this girl who's an orphan, and she's visited by two demons from the underworld that want to use her to help them get up to the top part to Earth. They're voiced by Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele. Okay, big name. Yeah, great cinematography, great animation. See it, yeah? See it? I stream it. It's, okay. on, it's on Netflix, and it's a little complicated and confusing again, but I liked it. Okay. So, you know. Give it a check. All Thank right. you, Ryan. Thank Good you ones, too. Ryan. You can follow Ryan J on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And for his full entertainment reviews, check out his website. It's RyanJReviews.com.